That's the phone. Uh -huh. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> oh, she's running. No. Super thirsty. Mm, that's your girl though, partner. She really running for a phone. It's incriminating evidence. It's damning evidence in that phone, partner. Look at her, bro. It's gonna shake you to your core if you go no through way. it. You're gonna lose she sleep. Got something here. You're gonna What's lose up? Weight. What's good? Don't you see me running after you? Huh? Don't you see me running after you? Yeah, what's going on? Oh my god, I need my phone. You need your phone? You ain't leave your phone in here. No. Where's your phone at? What you got in your phone? Why you gotta be running full speed for your phone? Mm. What do you mean? I need my phone. I'm literally I'm gonna be at a random mall. What's your password? Hey, open the door and give my phone. Uh-oh. What you mean? Uh -oh. You can't tell me the password? No, open the door. What you mean open why the door? Why is it that serious? You really full fledged sprinted. I told you I was gonna be right back in two minutes. Mm. Stop playing games. And I know where you're going. You're going straight into Saks Fifth. Yeah, but why do you need my phone in your car? Damn. Why? Why? What, is it a problem if I was going to pull up anyway? Damn. That's my phone. That's my phone for a reason. So what's the password? Just give me the password. I'm not gonna give you the pass password. No. Give it to me, please. Why you change your password? Ooh. Come on, you drop me off in front. Come on. Why you? No. Okay, nah. Give me your password. Why you drop? Why? Why you change your password? Are you being for real? It might be. Why you change your password? Text messages probably look like an eggplant phone. You don't know. You don't know why you change your password. Look like the produce section, cucumbers, eggplants. No, but why you? Why you fully? You full fledged sprinting. That 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 don't look suspicious to you. Mm. That's give me cheating vibes. I don't know. That's give me cheating vibes. Now you change your password. That's real fishy. I gotta be in communication with you. What do you? Yeah, I just told you I'll be back in two minutes. Mm. And I know where you're going. You're going in there with the money I just gave you. Mm. I just gave you the money. Mom, so what's up? Give me the phone. No, I'm not giving you the phone until you give me the password. Because right, I know you got something. Say, bro, this is the type of stuff that happens when you leave with your wallet, you bro. I promise you that. You ain't going to attract no quality woman, I just gave woman, you money though. to go in there. Come on, man. Let me. On, the what's the password? I don't know the password. She ain't going to tell you, partner. 25800, you switched it? You know what? Just give me my money back. Give me my money back, and I'll give you the phone. Give me my money back. You know what? You can just stay here. How am I being insecure? Gas like you just fully fled sprint when you didn't have your phone. I just wanted to see if I can get go because you was doing suspicious activity. You turned into a track star. Ain't no one running that fast unless they got She's something to hide their phone. And you change your password. Here, give me the money back. Just, just, I'm t just give me the money back. Just give me, just give me the money back that I gave you for shopping, and then you can go. No, I'm not, stick it through the window. Give me the phone. Give me the money. Give me the money. Stick it through the window, and I'll give you your phone. I'll just come with you. Please. You got my word. Just give me the. I'll just come with just you. Just give me the money back. Give me the money back. Just give me the money back. It's that simple. Probably gave her like five G's. You can Uber back home. No, nah, you you sprinted too fast. I know. I know when you got some oh, slick. I just need my phone. Okay, give me my. Give me the money. Put the money through the window. Just put it through the window. Where's my phone? Now? You got. It's right here. I can't do just put it in there. Put it in there first. Girl, your whole there. hand went through the window just now. You can throw the money in there. Put Stop it in playing. There. Here. Give me the money. Give me the money. She's going to snatch the phone. I know you got something to hide. I'm out of here. Nah, you good. You can Uber. You got Uber. You got Uber. Damn. Yeah, man. Obviously, this woman is cheating. Or she's conversing with other men at the very least, right? She's keeping that door open, that lifeline. You know what I mean? One foot in, one foot out the door, right? Because, you know, it's almost like they always have a backup plan. It's always a man on deck. You know what I mean? So the telltale signs was there. She's definitely hiding something in that phone. She refused to give him the code. She ran after the car. She changed the code from what it used to be. Therefore, she can, you know, that was her covering her tracks, crossing her T's, dotting her eyes. Dog, trust me, whatever in that phone, he don't want to see it. And he did the right thing. Leave her where she at. Young man, never love a woman based on how you feel emotionally towards her. Always love a woman based on how she treats you. Mm -hmm. Men who 
buy into the romantic concept and perspective of love. And it's inevitable. But love is up and down, just like a woman. You want a woman who's responsible to you. A woman who's responsible to you will be respectful of you. Listen, love is a very real thing. And if you're fortunate enough to find it, more power to you. But at the end of the day, what this man just said is spot on, man. So many men got married for love. And that's that's really not a good reason to really be married to no woman just because you love her. Man, y'all be loving some messed up people. Let's be real. Y'all love some messed up people. Women that got gigantic red flags, man. You know what I mean? Red flags be the damn size of the American flag. And, and y'all miss it some kind of way. But if a woman respects you, she's an honorable woman, you wouldn't mind your daughter growing up to become the version of that woman, then that's when you got something on your hands right there. And a lot of y'all can't even answer that truthfully, man. I be talking to my partners, bruh. It's too late for them. They already got kids that's grown and damn near grown and they in school and things of that nature. And I'm like, dog, would you want your daughter to be like your baby mama? Hell no. It's too late. <laughs> they daughter already the apple don't fall too far from the tree that's what i'm saying so what this man just said was spot on in my opinion and he got some years on me and then i already knew that i'm capital p for real the last thing i'm gonna do is fall for a hoe i might f the bitch i might give this and that and that and this and do all that but falling for a hoe actual falling down for a hoe no search key. you selling that yeah say brother i commend you you heard me you out here is a hundred and something degrees out here and this man selling chocolate, shit that's melting out here. But that don't matter, you heard me? Because this is the beginning of entrepreneurship. There it you is. You out here and you trying. But I could give you a tip. Yeah. This is my tip. I don't want nothing from you. I'm going to give you this money right here. Thank you. But look, I just left the store. It's hot out here. I went and got water. You heard me? I paid two something for the water. Let's corner the market, take that money, go get your case of water, some ice. When these cars pass, and that's what they want. I just spent two something. You could lay up there, spend four dollars on a case of water, and kill a game on a 24 pack, selling them for a dollar. All profit. You feel me? Keep doing what That's you're what I like to see. Much respect to you, for real. Thank you. All right, stay up, stay out of trouble. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was today's segment of positive vibes. Right? You got a little boy out there selling candy selling whatever he's selling trying to make a trying to make an honest living right and it is a start to entrepreneurship and it is important for men to see that and to uh give favorable advice and just come and show up and say man listen bro i see your efforts they're not going unnoticed because though the truth of the matter is that's right here in new orleans right i want to say that's across the canal lower nine ward it's a bunch of rough times over there hard times over there bro People ain't got money like that. So he could be in the streets out here being a menace to society. He could be a kid boy. You know what I mean? He could be a jack boy. He could be selling dope. He could be doing God knows whatever. But he out here trying to earn an honest living. And when I see things like that, I try to bless these young men, bro. Because I know how easy it is to fall in them streets, man. Come on. It's hot as hell out there. Y'all see somebody doing that, bro? Show him a little love, man. Real talk. Pay it forward, right? Good actions don't go unnoticed, partner. So with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. If you got a video you want to see me do commentary on, send it to that boy, willreacts at gmail.com.